Okay, so it's Wednesday, June 28th. Um, we are, uh, last night we spent the night in Connecticut. Um, very dear cousin of mine lives there. And uh, after we left New York, we pulled into our driveway and uh, spent the night there and got to enjoy a good breakfast with her and her family and my aunt and uncle as well. Um, so we left there a little while ago and we headed towards Boston. Um, but, you know, come, got to do stuff for the boys every day. So we are at Old Sturbridge Village. So growing up in Mass, this was always a, one of the field trips that we went to. It's a, it's an old village that is basically the characters live like they did way, 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 way back in the day. Um, you know, it, like a little town. So we're here. The visitor center's over here where we get our tickets. So it's been, God, I'm trying to think. I might have been in the seventh or eighth grade was the last time that I'd been here. So let's, uh, let's see. And if you guys don't know that seventh or eighth grade was a long time ago. So, uh, interesting fact, um, Sturbridge Village is a Blue Star facility, meaning that, uh, that active duty, um, retired veterans, disabled veterans get, uh, themselves and five guests in for free. So, uh, that, I did not know that. I always ask if there's a military discount, uh, and there was, and it paid off really well. So we are in the facility right now in the in the kids kids area first. The kids are playing. Yeah. I think that would be a bed. Yeah, I think so as well. I think that went upstairs to the other, the other bedrooms and stuff, yeah. the attic. A small house. Look at the sheep has horns. Okay. So imagine this is how a town used to be, right? Which way do you want to go? You want to go in the church? Yeah. If that was my house, yay. If that was your house, yay. Why is that? If I have, if it was my house. Okay. All the stuff that are already inside of it. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. If that was my house, I'll be the president, and I'll be. Yeah. When people would go to church, their family would have their own pew, right? Is she a carp is she a carpenter? No, not a carpenter. I'm a cabinet maker. So a carpenter at the time would be somebody who built buildings. Cabinet makers build furniture and other what things in houses. Sorry? Yeah, what are you making? Well I'm Okay, so this is like the store you think? Hi. Hello ma'am. Hi, how are you today? Good. Welcome to the country store. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Want to look around? Come and look around. There is something silly. No, right here. Well, thank you for coming in. Uh, have you been in this shop before? Yeah. Oh, okay, well. This is typical of what you would have seen in the 1830s uh, in almost every town in Massachusetts because the shoe industry is Daddy, the biggest employer so outside of five, maybe even a little more. Uh, the guys that are in here. The cow. The cow. Who's at the top of the stairs? The 
Oh, oh, man. And the cows have horns, right? Yeah. Just as they reached the stairs, they were suddenly caught on the horn. <laughs> yeah, that's how he makes it. Do you like it? Yeah. I like it. Oh, let's go over. Step is a giant mushroom. Yeah? Oh, wow. Look, I'm touching it. Mm-hmm. Do you want to pet a cow? No, no, don't touch the food, buddy. That looks really nice. Let me give you a little advice. After getting your hands all full of that clay, just don't touch your clothes. Because it'll leave stains on your clothes. Okay. Oh, okay. Did you did you enjoy the potter? Yeah. He's interesting, isn't he? Isn't it fun to watch something to get made so quickly? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks really good. You can look over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> Think the birds like making nests with all this stuff? Oh, birds. Birds. Probably out in the fields, look. I go under and drink it. <laughs> no. The pedal, and I hold this against it, it's going to pull off that layer of what they call the scale. See, that's all gray and corroded. Sure, I'll show you what it's like. We'll grind the edge of this axe. How's that? Yes. So let me grab some water. How do you get water? My slack tub. Notice how the bucket leaks? Yeah. It's supposed to leak. So it leaks onto the stone. Then I grab my axe head, find a good spot. See that shininess on the edge? Mm -hmm. So that used to look like it does on this side. It's all grusted and corroded. But now I'm the pulling that shininess. What I'll have to do, I could use a hammer and anvil to do this. The thing is, the bar is so long, it's easier if I use its own weight as its own hammer. I'll give you this little piece of clay. Yeah, for what? For the burning bar. it. For burning it? Put it on the bar so it will get it up here. And it'll make it easy. I mean, the wood, I think if I touch the wood with it. Instant fire. Put this metal plate. Do it on the wood. The garden mill. Oh, part. I one in here. Oh, so this is what they'll do right here. Look. So the wool from the sheep. Yeah. They'll take it and they'll they'll run it in between these to start oh, this is separating for you. it. Can we have some more? These are for you. Then can we have some more? Hmm? You want a piece of wool? Yeah. There you go. Look where they cut logs. See? See that? This right here is their version of a table saw. Right? Yeah. You know how Daddy had his table saw? Yeah. Dad. And this is a band saw. It's a band saw. Oh, it's a, it's a sawmill where they would cut the logs. So they'd use the water, right? Mm -hmm. The water below mm -hmm. would cause this wheel mm -hmm. to start to turn, yeah. which would cause the saw to go up and down and up and down, and which would cut the wood. 
to planks. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And look at all the sawdust, huh? Yeah. Oh, all the buildings here, well, the majority of the buildings here have been um, found all over, over New England. Like they found a potter shop uh, that was getting ready to be torn down and they found a farmhouse that was getting ready to be torn down and they would take it apart and bring it here piece by piece and rebuild it. Some of the other buildings that are here have been built according to the way that they would, would have built it at this time that this town was. So uh, like this bridge that we're crossing right now is pretty much built the same exact way that it would have been there with some few modern safety things. And Mateo got some, uh, some wool as well. Um, but yeah, the town is cool. You know, reminds me of being a kid. And no, you have to eat all of this. So lunch, we're having a little sampler. Some mac and cheese, some shepherd's pie, and some chicken pot pie. And some of this. And of course, Mikey steals the milk creamers. Why would you need so many lanterns? Not to mention, why would you want the cheap one? <laughs> More people back then are going for ones with glass. They're more expensive, but they give them more light. But even then, you're only doing like 10, 20 lanterns a year, if that. Mm. Whereas you might do 50 or 60 apple quarters. What are year. apple quarters? All the way down. And then all the way up. And then down. I think I can do it. Up, oh, I don't think it works. Did you make my tail? That was the end of Sturbridge Village. Um, we spent probably about, uh, I don't know, four hours here enjoying it. Um, got some lunch and uh, now we're gonna head out. And towards my cousin's house. No, we're not going towards my cousin's house. Why? Who are we gonna go see now? Grammy June. Grammy who? June. Grammy June. Are we excited to see Grammy June? Yes. Yeah, I'm excited too. What are we going to see now? Grammy Weezy. No, not Grammy Weezy. Grammy June. Grammy June, are you excited? Uh, yeah. Show me. Tell Grammy, tell Grammy that you, you're happy to see her. On her the shield, Grammy. Now, can you unlock the car? Yes, I can. I just went, uh, I just stopped and surprised my mom. Um, so the boys, we all swung by and uh, just surprised her. We weren't supposed to be here for another day or two, but because of the weather, um, we've kind of picked up our pace a little bit and we got here. So showed up to the house and she thought she, she thought somebody ordered something from Amazon and uh, was pleasantly surprised when she saw it was uh, me and the boys. So we had some dinner and uh, Fortunate that uh, we have a place to stay here. My uh, my grandmother is away in Florida, so uh, she said we could stay at her house. So we're gonna be out of the van for for a couple days while we're in Boston. Um, so that's good. And uh, yeah, it was very very good to see my mom. Um, she's uh, she looks a lot better. She's undergoing some not feeling too well right now so um, 
but it was very, very good to see her.